In this time of advancing technology, where most of us use our cellular telephones to text message, uh, it was time for 911 services to advance to a level to allow our public to use that technology to reach emergency services and call for help. The slogan that we're promoting today that you can see on the poster behind me and you will hear several times today <coughs> is call if you can, text if you can't. And it's a very clear message I'm hoping that all of the media that are here today will really impress upon our public is to use it just for that. A call is gonna be more efficient, it's gonna be faster. So call if you can. There will be opportunities where calling is not possible and that's where we're saying text if you can't call. Once again, it can be overemphasized that the best way, you need to call the best way you possibly can and that's a voice call. But if you can't, then by all means use texting. One of the reasons why that we've, we're having this announcement today is to ensure that those populations within the three counties understand that that capability exists, but also understand that there are some limitations and that your expectations may not be met um, with text and 911. It's a best effort solution, and as technology gets better, then our solutions will be better. But at this point, call if you can, text if you can. As this deployment moves forward, we want to make sure that, that everyone in the community and all the agencies that are represented here know that we're going to continue to be here to, to help facilitate this process, work with the, the technology behind the solution to make sure that it's ready to go, and to also answer any best practices and link up these communities with others that are already taking text to 911. Red car, truck, or SUV. Since you are on the Highway 101, I will transfer you to CHP, who will ask you some more questions. Okay. So now what you're seeing? <laughs> XT test or text? Test. Okay. And then we'll start from there. And so. So instead of saying, okay, what kind of car are you in? And you say, yeah, we ask Bill Harry to see if he moves. Yeah, I don't know. I know, that's pretty bad. Got it. Basically, the speakers, we've got somebody from the deaf and hard of hearing. Bill